Apparently, Ben Shapiro has discovered Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's new hit single, WAP, which, as many of you know, stands for Wet Ass Pussy. <laughs> I had to wait like until we hit the 32nd mark in this video, otherwise it'll get demonetized if I curse. Um, but the song WAP, Wet Ass Pussy, is, uh, I think it's a banger, quite frankly. Um, I think it's it's phenomenal. As uh, my brother from another mother, Anthony Fantano, says, if you don't like the song, you're just bad at fucking. Uh, Cardi B actually responded to that tweet, hilariously enough. But I mean, it's a, it's a hit song. It, it's, it's just, it's something that we need. Like, it's a light in a really dark time when we need something to make us all happy and i think that this song uh it, it speaks to my heart i love it. it it's it's phenomenal uh ben shapiro however you know being the puritan that he is he discovered it and he decided to review the uh, lyrics on his show the daily wire or the ben shapiro show on the daily wire and he's trying to like extract something out of this to make a bigger point about feminism and he face plans. But this is something that I want to talk about, not necessarily because it yields any substantive value, but because it's super, super cringeworthy. Um, let's take a look. Take it away, Ben. Some of the lyrics. You ready? Whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. Hold up. I said certified freak seven days a week. Wet ass P word. Make that pullout game weak. Yeah, you effin' with some wet ass P word. P word is female genitalia. Bring a buck. <laughs> That's a stop. P word is female genitalia. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. Oh, I really wish that Michael Brooks was around to see this. He would really enjoy this and a mop for this wet ass hang on i gotta go back yeah you effin with some wet ass p word p word is female genitalia <laughs> p word is uh, female genitalia <laughs> he's such a weird person bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass p word give me everything you got for this wet ass p word <laughs> beat it up n word catch a charge extra large and extra hard put this p word right in your face swipe your nose like a credit card Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a kegel. <laughs> I'm literally crying. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. I might not be able to make it. <laughs> okay, we have to go back to get the whole lyric about the kegel. <laughs> large and extra hard put this p word right in your face swipe your nose like a credit card hop on top i want to ride i do a kegel while it's inside spit in my mouth <sighs> this is this is like too much like this is this is breaking me i can't, <laughs> I can't recover from this do a kegel when i'm inside holy fuck put this p word right in your face swipe your nose like a credit card hop on top i want to ride i do a kegel while it's inside Spit in my mouth, look in my eyes. This P word is wet, come take a dive. It continues uh, along these lines. Uh, and it gets significantly- I love how he blurs out what she's wearing because she's wearing something that just like covers her nipples and he's blurring it out. Uh, and it gets significantly, significantly more vulgar. Like a, a lot more vulgar. Oh no. Talk your S word, bite your lip, ask for a call while you ride that D word. You really ain't never gonna F him for a thing. He already made his mind up before he came. Now get your boots and your coat for this wet ass P word. <laughs> Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass P Right, so this is deep, guys. This, this okay. is before we, <laughs> before we get to his analysis, we have to stop so I can catch my breath. Um, I can't move on. I'm hung up on this too much. Two hours later. Large and extra hard. Put this P word right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Hop on top, I want to ride. I do a kegel while it's inside. <laughs> I do a kegel when it's inside. I don't know. <laughs> I'm too sober to watch this content right now. Okay, let me go back to his analysis. So, hang on. I'm literally crying. Holy shit, I needed this. Um, okay, so he's going to make a broader point about feminism here. 
um, and how they're like setting the feminist movement back. Um, let's let's hear him out. You really ain't never gonna f him for a thing. He already made his mind up before he came. Now get your boots and your coat for this wet ass p word. Pay my tuition just to kiss me on this wet ass p. Right. So, this is do you, guys. This, this is what you're totally botching the delivery. By the way, <laughs> you can try a little bit harder. I think. That's fought for. This is what the feminist movement was all about. It's not. Uh, it, it's not really about you know women being treated as independent, full, rounded human beings. It's about wet ass p word. And if you say anything differently, it's because you're a misogynist. You see. Uh, it gets really, uh, really, 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 really vulgar. Why don't we go through it all? Um, I wish I could get the full clip somewhere. Listen, he is trying so hard. He's reaching just to find some way to tie this to feminism, to shit on feminism. Let's just admit what we're dealing with here, Ben. You just were offended by this. You were triggered, for lack of a better word, and you wanted to talk about this because all of the vulgarity here. This isn't about feminism. I mean, like the song itself... How could you say that it's against feminism when it's empowering women? First of all, like as human beings that are supposed to be in this egalitarian society in 2020, we should all be sex positive. That's not bad. Like the fact that they're singing about sex and celebrating the fact that they like to have sex, that's not a bad thing. Like that doesn't make it inherently bad because you don't like it, right? Because you're a Puritan. All the songs that I listened to when I was growing up, it was like this, like it was in the same vein, which is why I think I like the song so much because I grew up with like, you know, Trick Daddy, uh, the Ying Yang Twins, like their entire album, The United States of Atlanta, was basically like songs like this. Like, I would love to hear him read off the Whisper song by the Ying Yang Twins. I think that would be phenomenal. But I mean, like the fact that he's trying to tie this to feminism and suggest that this is bad for feminism. No, feminism is about uh, not just the empowerment of women, but allowing women to uh, have equal rights, equal civil rights, civil liberties, you know, the same that men have, having, uh, you know, an equal footing in society. So I don't understand how he's trying to, like, draw this to feminism and say that this is somehow like, oh, this was the goal of feminism so that, you know, uh, rappers like Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion can make songs about wet ass P word. I mean, it, it's just nonsensical. I, like, there's no political substance here, but he's trying really hard to extract something from this because he desperately wants to talk about how offended he is by this. Ben, you are a weak-ass C-word. And by C-word, I mean you are a cunt. <laughs> you are so stupid. Now, uh, for whatever reason, this clip was brought to my attention of uh, what Ben Shapiro considers... Uh, real mu music according to him. Um, let's listen to this. If we weren't already cringing enough. There, out in the darkness, a fugitive running, fallen from God, fallen from grace. God be my witness, I never shall yield. I can't. Okay, that's as much as I could take. I'm really going to regret watching that. Uh, let's look at some of the comments here from uh, Ben Shapiro fans. Ben, please release a mixtape. This is so disturbing. It should come with a trigger warning. This is a lib right here or a lefty. Um, I just imagine him singing to college leftists. Facts don't care about your feelings. Oh my god, these people are so horrible. Um, quite unexpected, I must say. Been thinking about AOC's feet. Okay, all the recent comments are from leftists who are just now finding this clip because I too just found this clip, unfortunately. This is why straight people are banned from participating in the inner club. <laughs> okay, now this video is getting brigaded by leftists, so I can't necessarily say that all of the uh, Daily Wire viewers are... Um, Yep, this just blew up on left Twitter. That all the Daily Wire viewers are like, uh, you know, loving it. But, I mean, this is gold right here. I don't know what more to say about this. He just read off the words to wet ass pussy. And I, um, I don't know what else to say. Um, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, I guess. Mine is the way of the Lord. Those who follow the path of the righteous shall have their reward.
And if they fall as Lucifer fell, Alpha male, not a beta male.